So I was given the hardest task ever, just to give you the last presentation of the day. And I know we're all tired and looking forward to the dinner and party and so on. But please don't sleep yet. To help you with that, I've included pictures of some cats. So, damn it. So hopefully they can keep you awake for a few more minutes. Now, there are many reasons why we all love React so much. I think the most important one is that it's declarative. Uh, you only need to implement components that get data as the input and then produce UI as the output, right? Uh, ideally, it's all you'd need to do because that's what makes your application unique. Unfortunately, we also need to handle the state, the data. And Flux is a great concept for making the state manageable, but if your app just fetches data and updates them, with Flux, you usually have to write a lot of code that gets repeated in many cases. Now, Relay takes the declarative concept one step further, and it allows you to also declare the query, and then takes care of the step towards the data. Uh, Joe did a pre great presentation today on Relay and explained the details, uh, explained the reasons in more detail. So um, I'm just going to uh, focus on what's turbine. Uh, conceptually, is the same. Uh, at this point, it's a sep separate implementation because uh, Relay is still not open sourced, but uh, it's designed to be compatible with Relay, and hopefully in the future it will, will be uh, integrated on top of Relay. Um, so, Relay works with the GraphQL server, but we all have APIs, right? And third parties have APIs. And if you support public API, you also have to manage an SDK that wraps around that API. Like if you have assets controller on a server and in the SDK you have an asset model that sends requests to the API and then gets back a list of assets. And you've already implemented that asset model. So could you use it uh, for uh, managing the data? Uh, the model looks like this. Uh, we're using immutable record, but technically you could use anything that uh, that just has the methods uh, query, find, create, update, and delete, which return promises. Uh, you can also, since it's a model, you can also define other helper methods that will be available on the asset model. Now, people using the SDK can call asset.query and fetch the list of assets. Now, this looks like another picture of a cat, but it's actually a component. Just to talk about reusability. Uh, and the component is an asset component. It has image URL, tags, likes, uh, the username, and so on. It's nothing surprising. And we would have the asset component and then rendering inside of an assets view, which is a list of assets, uh, as you can see from the prop types. And then in the render method, you declare how the data transforms into the UI. And when you want to render it, you would just say uh, assets view and pass the assets. How you get the assets, though, that's your problem and your responsibility. Now let's see how that changes with Turbine. Instead of exporting the component directly, we wrap in it in Turbine container, exactly the same as, as with Relay. And we specify the query as a second parameter, and then uh, the query actually uses the same GraphQL syntax. So really, from the perspective of the component, it should be uh, an easy switch, uh, or it should be compatible. Uh, and then you render it just by giving an album ID, and Turbine will take care of fetching the data through the assets model. Or is it? Now, this is the picture from the Relay presentation. Now, please don't stone me. I've tried my best, but I'm not a designer. This is how Turbine fetches data. As you can see, the component is still the same. It's wrapped inside of a container, and the container then asks the Turbine store to fetch the data through the asset model. There's a lot more in, in Relay than fetching data, obviously. Uh, one of the great benefits is combining all the data that you need into one request. Uh, that's not possible if you're uh, splitting the query into individual models already on the client. On the other hand, because Turbine doesn't need a server, it may be easier for you to get started. And it could be even enough for some applications. Uh, with that said, Turbine is still an experiment. You're welcome to try it out and provide feedback. 
Now, since we have a little more time, oh, we don't? Well, a few more pictures. Thank you.